Andrew Price created legendary donut tutorial. There are lots of variations on the internet from excellent VFX artists, and I decided to create one non-destructively with modifiers from just one vertex. Let's get started! There are many ways to add one vertex. First, I just delete everything except the default cube. Then, in edit mode, press M and click on Add Center, which will merge all vertices at center. Now, let's add some modifiers. Ok, so first is a displacement modifier, which will control the tube radius of our torus. Set the direction to X, mid left to 0, and strength controls the Manor radius, according to torus Wikipedia page. Add a screw modifier, which will control our Manor radius. X is to Y, 32 steps, and enable merging. Another displacement modifier. Set it along X axis and set mid left to 0. Again, strength controls the Manor radius. I set it to 2. Add another screw modifier, enable wireframe just to see what's going on. I set resolution to 32 and again enable merging. If you check the face orientation in viewport overlay, you will see that the face orientation is flipped. To flip it back, enable flip. For more geometry, add subdivision surface and set it to 3. Add another displacement modifier with cloud texture to make the donut more random. Add another vertex. Why? Because that's what it's all about. X displacement for main radius of our icing. Screw modifier along Y axis. The icing won't be all over the donut, so I set the angle to 180 degrees. Now let's displace it again. This time along X axis. The value should be the same for the icing and the donut. We will add some custom properties later so we can move them at once. Another screw modifier. 32 steps works just fine. Now is the icing and the donut in the same position. Let's displace the icing to get some space between these two objects. Basic displacement modifier works ok. Another displacement with clouds texture to bring realism to our icing. Now add solidify to make the icing thicker. Then I added subdivision surface with resolution of 2. Feel free to tweak some values, that's why I made donut from modifiers. You can see that the icing is flat at the bottom, which doesn't look very realistic. Add wave modifier, uncheck Y and tweak the offset and life value. Yeah, that looks better. Parent the icing to the donut. It's easier to manipulate. We want to control the radius of icing and donut at once. To do this, create a new custom property in Donut Object panel. Click Edit and change the name to Radius 1. The minimum and maximum value can be adjusted later. Now in the Donut Modifier panel, find the Displacement modifier which controls the main radius. Right-click on Strength and add a driver. I like to work in Driver Editor. Delete this variable and add a new one. Single property must be enabled. Choose the donut as a prop. To link our custom property value to this strength value, we need to add a path of our custom property. Just right-click on the custom property value and click Copy Data Path. Back in Driver Editor, just press Ctrl V to put the path to the driver. I renamed it to Tube Radius and put the same name onto Expression. Now click on the Update. You can control the custom property and the displacement value will respond. To make it bigger, change the max limit. The best thing is that now we can just click on the driver in the displacement modifier, copy the driver and insert it in the same modifier but in the icing object. It's now possible to control two modifiers at once. Create another custom property for the major radius and make the same modifier as the one we just did but for the displacement that controls the main radius. Sprinkles! Add a new vertex, add a screw modifier, X is Z, angle 0, 1 step, and a screw value to like 40 centimeters. Yes, 40 centimeters. I should learn how to use proper dimensions. Add a skin modifier and in the edit mode select the vertex and press Ctrl A to make it thinner and enable smooth shading. And add a subdivision surface to make it smoother. Select the icing and add a new particle system. Change it to hair and also change the hair length to 1. We have to check Use Modifier Stack option in Surface menu. Render Object. Set it to Sprinkles. Scale to 1 and Random Scale to 0.3. Oh, it's too big. Set the hair length to half a meter. And now, look, you can change the custom property and everything is changing as it should. Materials are very easy. Here is Donut, the icing, and the sprinkles. Now you have a non-destructive, editable Donut. The possibilities are endless.